the countdown to version 100 of Chrome and Firefox is just weeks away. CSS Cascade Layers gives you more control over your CSS and helps to prevent style specificity conflicts. The Show Picker method allows you to programmatically show a browser picker for input elements like date, color, and data list. And there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 99. Chrome 100 ships in just four weeks, and Firefox 100 ships just a few days later. Both of these are a major milestone. But if your code is not expecting three digits, a new version number could cause issues for you. Any code that checks the version number or parses the user agent string should be checked to make sure that it won't have any issues with three digits. In Chrome, the fourth major version to 100 flag will change the current version number to 100 so that you can make sure everything works as expected. Firefox has something similar, so be sure to check the link in the description for more details. Support for CSS cascade layers and the CSS at layer rule is landing in Chrome 99. They provide more explicit control of your CSS files to prevent style specificity conflicts. This is especially useful for large code bases, design systems, and when managing third-party styles in applications. They introduce a new layer to the CSS cascade. With layered styles, the precedence of a layer always beats the specificity of a selector. For example, this selector here has a higher specificity than this selector. If you're trying to style a link, inside a card within a post, you'll find that the more specific selector will be applied. But by using the at layer rule, you can be more explicit about the style specificity of each and make sure that the link style in your card overrides the link style in your post. This is because of cascade precedence. Layered styles create new cascade planes. Cascade layers using the CSS at layer rule are supported in Chrome 99, Firefox 97, and Safari 15.4 beta. Check out Yuna's article linked in the description for a lot more information. For a long time, we've had to resort to custom widget libraries or hacks to show a date picker. There's a new show picker method on HTML input elements. It's the canonical way to show a browser picker, not only for dates, but also for time, color, and other input elements with pickers. To use it, call show picker on the input element. I've wrapped it in a try catch block. That allows me to provide a fallback if the browser doesn't support the API or for some reason can't show the picker. This ensures a great user experience. Check out Francois's article for complete details and all the different types of elements that you can use show picker for. Of course, there's plenty more. The Canvas 2D API has been updated, adding new functionality, including two new events for context lost and context restored, a will read frequently option, more CSS text modifier support, and more. There's a new origin trial to allow PWAs to provide alternate colors in the web app manifest for dark mode. And the handwriting recognition API has landed. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Hit that subscribe button now so that you don't miss any of the latest Chrome DevTools videos, designing in the browser, and more. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 100 is released, be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.